Antoine Miles is being held here on a $1 million bond charged with raping the little girl who lived next door. It really makes you question everybody around you. This is a story that is hard to tell. I thought that he was our friend. A story that turns your stomach. I just feel sick. The brother of a close friend and neighbor accused of raping a five-year-old girl. An innocent child has had her innocence taken away from her. Devereaux's five-year-old daughter. It's a sick crime. When you hear about it, it makes you sick. It makes you sick. You know what I'm saying? It makes you sick to the stomach. A five-year-old child, a helpless five-year-old child. Devereaux says she noticed something wrong when her daughter came home from playing at the neighbors on Sunday, September 10th. She started asking questions, sick to her stomach at the answers she got. I just start crying because it's like, this is my five-year-old baby. We are celebrating the fact that she's in kindergarten. Instead, she had to take her daughter to the hospital for a rape kit. An arrest of 18-year-old Antoine Miles came soon after. An indictment so graphic, we are blurring every single thing investigators say happened. In a normal world, an 18-year-old male should be able to be around a five-year-old and there not be an issue. The issue is not in the age. The issue is not her being there with him alone. The issue is in the mind. For years, Miles has worked with Peace in the Hood, a community group in Cleveland. The group's leader tells us Miles volunteered at events, but was never alone with kids. Still, it is yet another gut punch for Devereaux. You were supposed to be out here promoting peace, you know, justice and things like that in a community, but behind closed doors, you're touching on a little kid. Devereaux says she is sharing her daughter's story because she hopes their tragedy can be a reminder for all parents. Ask your kids, ask them. You might just be surprised what your own kids tell you about what's going on around them, because I was. Devereaux tells me she believes this is not the first time it happened, hoping that more charges are filed. She plans to get her daughter into therapy as soon as possible. At the Justice Center, Homa Bash, News 5.